All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick global update since we did get a data download last night, but honestly, there isn't anything new that we didn't know about. I mean, it was more so just confirmation of a few things that we were already pretty sure were coming. So yesterday I made a video about how the uh, AGL Broly Extreme Z battle event was gone and the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event was gone and that led us to believe that the base form STR free to play Gogeta was coming to global and as you can see now in DBZ space it's been updated and the base form Gogeta is officially coming to the global side of the game so that's uh, pretty freaking exciting and the other thing that was confirmed by this data download is that the physical Goku Black Extreme Z Awakening uh, well I mean we already knew for sure it was coming but the more exciting thing about this is that he does retain the additional stats that he had on global and also the additional extreme support so just to reiterate from before uh, the JP version of this card does not have any support for extreme units all right but the global version did before extreme Z awakening and now we know that after extreme Z awakening he still keeps the extreme class key plus three and also has the exact same passive otherwise so this is just an add-on to the JP version of this card it's not like they took anything away so he's just straight up better just straight up better on global and on top of that there is the uh, thing with the stats where his max stats now at rainbow status after extreme z awakening uh, his hp will be 19,395 his attack will be 18,091 and defense is 10,560 compared to the jp version which has let's see 18,505 hp 16,458 attack which is more than 1500 less actually it's like around 1600 less than the global version right and defense is exactly the same which is fine so the main thing to pay attention to of course the main thing that makes the biggest difference is this um boosted attack on the global version and since he is a excellent excellent nuker now who gets up to 20 percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained that additional 1600 attack is going to make a huge huge difference guys he already hits pretty damn hard on jp like i've seen him get up to uh three million plus attack right he's gonna hit that much harder on global now and he's also gonna be supporting his team or at least his extreme um, allies by giving them more key if you have like LRs on the team then it's gonna make them easier or make it easier for them to get their 18 key super off and uh, I just love it man I just love it I mean I made a video about this a couple days ago uh, or maybe last week or something like that if you guys want to check it out go ahead and in the video I was like I don't see them taking anything away from this guy honestly I don't I think they're gonna keep everything um, that they gave him on the global version the buffs that he got and turns out I was right so he does keep the extreme support he keeps the additional stats he's gonna be just ridiculous once he is extreme Z awakened I can't wait guys and as you can see the release date is November 25th 2019 which is also uh, I believe the day that part two of the thank you celebration uh, begins and uh, for Gogeta he is also coming out well I mean I think on the Dokkan wiki they go by uh, Eastern Standard Time whereas for DBZ Space they go by Pacific Standard Time so essentially um, if you're going by Eastern Standard Time which is my time zone then it's going to be the morning of uh, November 25th so basically uh, the same time for both of them Gogeta and also the Extreme Z Awakening for is Goku Black I can't freaking wait guys and to refresh your memory the way we get the uh, base Gogeta is by farming two well one of the new stages that is coming to this story event, the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event right here. So uh, stage 11 is new and stage 12 is new and he drops from stage 11 whereas stage 12 is just uh, for the um, Chi Lai and uh, what was his name again? What's that orange dude's name? I forgot. Uh, Lemo? Lemo? Something like that. So Lemo and uh, Chi Lai uh, items here for nuking. They're pretty good too. So you can, if you guys want to farm those, then go ahead. And that is an additional one, two, three, four, and five dragon stones for the addition of 
base Gogeta. Unfortunately, he doesn't have his own Extreme Z battle event. Uh, some people who were messaging me yesterday, they were like, yo, are we getting two Extreme Z Awakenings or Extreme Z battles at once? That's like 60 stones, right? And I was like, eh, not quite. We're getting the 30 plus for um, uh, the you know, Goku Black Extreme Z battle, but when it comes to base Gogeta, he doesn't get his own Extreme Z battle event. He actually awakens from the medals from uh, the Fizz, not the Fizz, the AGL Raffle Broly Extreme Z battle event. So if you guys haven't cleared that yet, then yes, you can still get those stones, I guess. But um, if you already cleared it, you're not going to get the stones again. You can get the five additional stones or from these uh, new stages and also the mission, but that's pretty much it as far as free stones go for base Gogeta. But either way, I'm excited that he's here. I can't wait to awaken him. I can't wait to uh, awaken the Fizz Goku Black. I will definitely be doing a showcase for you guys once that is available. And that's gonna do it for today's video. We still don't have any information about the uh, banner we're getting. I mean, of course, we are getting that thank you celebration banner with the LR Super Saiyan 4s and the uh, most likely LR Go Bros. But I do think there's gonna be another banner on top of that because um, for JP, they got the GoBros banner for the first time and then the Tanabata banner, right? For their Tanabata celebration. But since we already got the Tanabata, or sorry, we, we already got the GoBros banner first on Global, we should be getting another banner to substitute for that. And I still think that there is a chance, pretty decent chance, that it's LR, Kale, and Khalifla, but it could be something else. I, I don't want to get people's hopes up too high, so just keep that info at the back of your head. And uh, once more information comes out about what that banner will be, the additional banner on top of the thank you celebration banner, then uh, I'll make a video to let you guys know. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys are uh, excited. Hope you guys learned something from today's video. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.